with Ryan, Sam, Nate, and Parker, who's filming. We Woo! just we just saw the new Buzz Lightyear movie, aka Lightyear. Woo! Oh man, this has outstanding visuals. This this was a heartwarming film. They docked they docked out the, the the themes with sci-fi, and, and I got some interstellar vibes most part most part. But um, this I, and it, it was super funny. And Socks is a super cool character. Um, um, there are some several serviceable moments in the first act that you remember from Toy Story, but then, but then it all it, it, it successfully tells a great story with an original aspect. I love this film. I think it's one of my favorites. I, one of my favorites in the top 15. Um, yep, and and Pete Doctor Yara, um, ranking will be a little later, so um, I'll do a thing on that. So, but but guys, uh, um, guys, this was a super film. Thank you, Pete Doctor, and, and everyone else who made this possible. This was a great Buzz Lightyear film. Looking for more in the future, and there was a huge plot twist. I'm sure I'm not gonna spoil, but I did not see coming. But guys, that was amazing. Guys, I'm gonna give it. I, but the only negative I would say is that the story kind of dragged a little bit. But um, overall, then overall, I would give it a 9.9.7 .9 out of 10. Woo! Yeah, two decimals, Seth. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> All right, um, Sam, what do you got, buddy? Uh, it was a pretty good movie. It didn't have a lot of ambition, but what it tried to do, it did well. Uh, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I agree with Seth. There were some uh, interstellar vibes, a, little, uh, a lot of science, a lot of math going along with it, but it's a fun movie. Uh, Socks really carried the movie, I thought. Great new character to have in Pixar. Uh, I think I'll give it an 8.4 out of 10. All right, Parker, <laughs> what do you got, bro? I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a cool kind of throwback to some Toy Story nods. I uh, just loved that. Chris Evans was really good. I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. Awesome. All right, the moment of truth with a tough critic. Hey, what do you got, buddy? Passing grade. Woo! Let's go. Ow. <laughs> um... It is a passing grade. I gotta say though, it did not push the envelope like I hoped it would. It kind of was. Stayed, it kind of stayed in the movie comfort zone, not junk food comfort zone, but it was safe, but not junk food at least. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, 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 was, it wasn't like mind numbly same stuff all over again. It was just. It didn't push the envelope, but it wasn't. It was. It was okay, but it wasn't. I don't know. Hard to explain. I'm still gathering my thoughts kind of about it, but um, yeah, yeah. Overall, it's a good film. I recommend it. I just don't know what I don't know. I don't know any. I saw it coming, except the twist that I mentioned earlier. So yeah, just and Sox was pretty good. Yeah, we have, I think we all agree Sox was good. Yeah, Sox was great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Parker, you just said it was enjoyable. That's that that that. That's how I describe this movie one word. Enjoyable. So go watch it when you can. Passing grade. Don't, but j j j just don't expect too much, even if you're a Toy Story fan. Thank you. All right, guys, there you have it, our Lightyear review. <laughs> well, guys, stick around next, two, next, two, next, next Wednesday for my brother and I's review of Elvis. We're going we're to see, see it at the Dolby Cinema on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> and then after that, we got Thor, Love, and Thunder with, with the crew, guys. So, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to like and subscribe. Remember to feel galactic. See you guys. Galactic.